Hey guys. Oh. Hey Boo Boo. So, you guys haven't even seen Botan. My kitty. <coughs> Say hi Boo. She's purring. She likes it. You like it? She just doesn't know what's going on so she's like interested. I'm actually up on my loft bed right now in case you're wondering. Different background obviously. Anyway, I figured I would go ahead and like tell the story about why I stopped doing YouTube. Okay, if it's shaking, it's because she's rubbing up against it. Get out of here. My story is that I was on the JET program, which stands for Japan Exchange and Teaching. I was on the JET program as an assistant language teacher of English in Ehime Prefecture for two years. And about a year and a half into being a JET, I started my YouTube channel and I did almost pretty much all of the videos on my channel were done at that time. I was coming um, to the end of my time on JET because I knew I was only going to do two years. My plan was to move in with my boyfriend at the time and find a job in Tokyo. So I had this English teaching job lined up, which made sense because I was an English teacher in Ahime. So I moved and my first day of work was pretty soon after I moved, like I think within the week that I moved. And everything was new, everything, you know, was like overwhelming and everything. So I went into my first day of work and it was, it was just a terrible experience. It turned out that I was going to be working kind of like, I don't know if I was going to be co-teaching with this other guy, but there was this other guy. He just had a terrible attitude in my opinion, like the whole day, the whole first day that I was there. I was just kind of watching and like seeing how everything worked there and stuff and he just, this guy that I, I mean it's one thing if he was just a co-worker. I got the impression that I was going to be working really closely with him. Like I think we were going to be teaching maybe different classes but in the same classroom or something like that. It was just his overall attitude was like just rude. He just seemed very entitled. I remember, it's, I was observing, he was teaching a class, right, like of these kids. They were like elementary school age. And he just suddenly out of nowhere said, okay, do a game with them. I'm going to go over and like prepare the next activity and just walked away from me and these kids that I, you know what I mean? Like it was literally like so unexpected. Clearly I had nothing planned. Uh, I didn't know what to do. And I just remember him making me feel like, well, it's not that hard. Like what, what's the, what's the problem? Like he just kind of had this like just nasty attitude and it was just so consistent throughout the day. At the end of the day, the manager guy wanted me to sign the contract and I like, <laughs> I like couldn't bring myself to sign the contract because I, I was already really turned off. Something in me was like really not wanting to sign it. So I went home that day and I just knew that I couldn't work there. <laughs> like I just knew if I worked there, I would be miserable, and that's basically, it's just as simple as that. I knew that I would be miserable if I worked there. I ended up emailing the manager and, like, being really honest. I, like, explained everything. I just told him the truth because I figured, you know, I don't know how it sounds, but, like, I'm never going to see this guy again, so I may as well tell him the truth, and he seemed cool, the manager. So I just was honest with him, and he never replied, and I never went back there. And that was that. <laughs> and now I was searching for a job, right? My anxiety at the time was just really through the roof. I was just, it was just where I was at in life. I think towards the end of my time on, on JET, I started getting really anxious is the best way to describe it. You know, when you first, or when I first came to Japan, I was in this honeymoon phase where everything was perfect. It was like the best time of my life. I was so social. I was so happy and so, you know, open to new opportunities. I was traveling a lot. And by the by the end of my two years, I had just, things, it was like everything soured and everything felt really negative and I had become really isolated and I wasn't really hanging out with people anymore. I had, my mind was just kept going to the negatives of everything. And I could feel that happening. Like I knew I was doing that, but I couldn't help it. I was in Tokyo, anxiety levels super high, searching for a job, um, and really everything was just kind of falling apart. Personally, I had all this anxiety and I felt negative inside, inside of my mind all the time. 
I was really stressed out by the idea of finding a job. I was stressed out by just being in Tokyo. I didn't have any friends in Tokyo. I knew I I knew some people from the internet that lived in Tokyo, but I had never met them in real life, and so I felt very alone. My boyfriend at the time was working a lot of overtime. He was barely home. I feel like he was gone like like 12-hour work days, you know? So I was just in my like I was just in an apartment all day long every day and when you have anxiety when you're like when you have anxiety that's like it just get it just got worse and worse and worse and that pretty much summarizes why I stopped doing YouTube the purpose of my YouTube videos was always either to inform people of something or to inspire them somehow if I could do both things that's the best that's the ideal but one of those things and I just got to a point where I felt like I couldn't really do that. I was so anxious and like I was feeling so negative that I not only was I not really inspired to create YouTube videos anymore, but I think even if I had, it wouldn't have been I would I don't think I would have been producing content that I would be proud of. Instead of feeling really excited, I felt more like I should be excited, but I wasn't actually. You know, the trains were a giant stress to me. Always drove a car in America, and I also drove a car in Ehime. So I was completely new to the the idea of like relying on public transportation. Just being in a big city like Tokyo and like taking the trains, it scared me. Like I just knew, I just had this fear that I was going to get lost and that I just couldn't figure it out. And um, it was just my anxiety. My anxiety was really high. I eventually got another job interview and went to it and I felt like it went well. So they actually offered me a job, but the job that they offered me ended up being like a substitute teacher or like an on-call type of teacher. So my job would have been, um, you know, if their normal teachers suddenly called in, I would take their place, which meant that I didn't have much of a schedule and I would just be going to random places all over Tokyo, like at the drop of a hat every single day. I was fine with that, actually. I mean, I wasn't fine. I wasn't really confident with it because, like I said, I was pretty, like, freaked out by taking trains, but I was going to take the job. I told them, you know, I'll, I'll take the job, but I told them, <laughs> I feel naive for saying this now, but I told them, like, I just moved to Tokyo and I've never taken trains, so, um... I just told them that concern, but I, but I said, you know, but I'm willing to, to figure it out and, I'm, and I do want the job. And they were like, okay, good, good. And then they ended up emailing me like late, like the next day or something and saying like, oh, well, something happened and basically taking the offer back. And I'm 99% sure it's because of like the last comment that I made saying like, I'm not really good with trains. Things just kept getting worse. Things are just getting worse. And I just got this feeling like this isn't working out and it's like I mentioned in my last video I didn't want to accept it I love Japan I've always loved Japan I didn't want to leave Japan and I loved the idea of Tokyo it's not like I hated Tokyo it was just that it wasn't working out everything was going wrong I was in a really bad mental place I couldn't I couldn't really feel thankful for anything which is when you know it's bad. I just knew that it was time for me to go back home. I didn't really know for how long or what I would do or anything, but I got to a point where I just knew that it's time for me to go back home, not only because things were going really downhill in Tokyo, but also because my cat, Bobo, was being taken care of by my dad at the time, and he had been taking care of her for the whole two years that I was gone. And, you know, she's my cat. So I felt responsible for her. I loved YouTube, but it felt like this negative whirlwind happened in my life. I didn't have enough of a routine with YouTube to keep to keep it going during that time. I'm really happy right now. So it kind of feels like, why not try YouTube again? Um, I've been in Tokyo for a year now. Like, it's literally, I just hit my year anniversary. So I feel settled in enough to try something like this and um yeah we'll see how it goes um
So I hope that answers some questions. I don't know if anyone was actually wondering. I mean, people who have watched my YouTube that meet me in real life tend to ask me why I stopped. So I figured I should make a video about it and like... Also, for those of you that I haven't met in real life and you're just wondering, <laughs> that's why. And um, yeah, I just want YouTube to be something positive. But yeah, it just wasn't the time and I feel like now could be. So <laughs> let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know your thoughts upon seeing my video pop up. Um, I'm sure you're surprised. You're like, is she really like posting again? <laughs> oh, and I wanted to mention, um, I was working part-time for a company called Gogo Nihon while I was in school, while I was studying Japanese. So you may have seen me, I don't, I mean, I don't know what the chances are, but you may have seen me on their YouTube channel or their Facebook because I was working in their marketing department and I did a few uh, YouTube videos and I was also managing the Facebook for a while, so may have seen me there. <laughs> so I wasn't posting on this channel, but I was doing some kind of videos. I'll link Gogo Nihon's YouTube in the description, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!